Next thing you know. Boom! Charlotte! I turn around. I mean, this is, I mean, mid walk. He just walked in on his daughter getting piped. Yes, sir. Hey, what would y'all get off? Hey, if y'all ordering right here right now, what would you get? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna go ahead and probably get that, uh, that three piece combo. No kissy. Oh, uh, yeah, can I just go ahead and get a three piece finger combo? Yes, and a drink. Uh, I do a sweet tea. All right, anything else? And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Or actually, also, can I get an extra uh, sauce, please? An extra sauce? Yeah. Uh, RJ? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Give me 10, 15, 9, Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Hey, 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 you want some chicken today? <laughs> hey, so, Dave got my eye. Where my car at? Hey, we feeling good today, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm gonna get another cut. I just got a cut two days ago. I'm gonna get another cut. Type. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I got cut two days ago. Like, what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna get another cut real quick. Also, look. So basically, y'all see what we doing right now, man? We finna go ahead and we finna go ahead and do a uh, little Kane's mukbang. You know what? Before I even do any more talking, I'm just gonna wait till I get the food. You know what I'm saying? No point. In, I can you know say talk while I'm you know, while I'm eating. You feel me? Like, come on, dog. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all should see what I'm using right now to hold up this phone, bro. <laughs> if y'all, this is what I'm using. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, all right, cool. Hey, y'all gotta have to excuse all that. I mean, if y'all see me wearing the same thing y'all watched the last video, y'all know that I just went into Walmart. As y'all know, I forgot you gotta pay for bags. The thing is, I know you're probably like, bro, they're only 10 cent bags. No, like these are the only ones that they sell it now. Walmart got smart. They're like $8. Damn. But yeah, man, you see what we got going on today? I'm just going to do this real quick because I'm actually hungry. You feel me? I know I just got hella food. I don't know what's in my eye either, but no, you got to get that sweet tea if you go to Canes, man. I ain't going to. I'm going to move that. You know, so I be cooking and stuff too. I just don't feel like cooking right now. You know what I mean? Oh, and I'm right up here by Canes. I live far from a Canes, so when I'm buying, I might as well get it. You see the vibes? Everybody driving by is cool. Though. I'm not really worried about it. Yeah. Yeah. So let me go ahead and do my my little intro type shit. You know what I mean? All right, so. What's going on to the RJ squad, man? It is your boy, RJ Johnson, aka K RJ, back again with another banger, man. What's up, man? RJ squad, say it with me. I'll wait. We be cooking, hey, we back in the building. We back in the building. We back with the muck bangs. We back with the story times and all that. And I decided to go ahead and do a little story time muck bang with some canes, bro. Fire. Fire. No cap. And you know, you know, you gotta go to Cane's, you gotta get two sauces. Cause this last thing ain't gonna make it through everything. You feel me? I put the sauce on everything. Pause. Is that a pause though? I don't know if it's a pause. So basically, let's go ahead and get into it, my boy. Let's talk about some things. Let me do it. So, <laughs> need the napkin real quick. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I gotta do, man. You know what I gotta do. Hey, they're not perms. I can't lie to you and say that they are. I don't want perms. So, <laughs> I want my natural teeth sometimes, you feel me? So, today's story time slash the mukbang today that we doing, bruh, was a time when her parents caught us in the act. Her parents walked in on us, okay? This is why I no longer, and this is an old, old, you know, old story, a long time ago. So, you know what I'm saying, babe, if you watch this video, calm down, chill. This is old now. This is old now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to no girl's house anyway that still live with their parents because I'm not going to be having to sneak in and sneak out type shit. Like we're not, you know, we're not in high school days no more. We ain't doing that no more. That's that childish shit. First of all, I forgot. Hey, man. Gotta pray for you eat. 
So basically, let me tell y'all a story time, bro. This is about a couple years now. Three, four years, you know what I'm saying? And um, this is when I used to live in Houston, right? So when I was out there, moving to Houston is a big-ass state. So you're not going to really see a lot of people, like, very close. You know what I mean? The only way you're really going to find them is, like, on the internet, Instagram, shit like that. So, y'all know about Tinder. Chill, chill, chill. Now, y'all think I'm on Tinder looking for some girls type shit. Well, I mean, looking for girls, but to do videos type shit. Not, nothing really too, like, crazy. But with this one, this shorty, I ain't gonna lie. It was some Tinder, bruh. It was a sad case. But I was really on there looking for some shorties to do some videos with. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm on there. I'm just honestly swiping. I'm just trying to see if I can just, who I can just find on here, to be honest. And I ain't gonna lie. Batty pops up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! It's a busting. Busting. Damn. So, I ran to this baddie. No bullshit. I'm running to a baddie on there. You feel me? Check out the Instagram. She's actually pretty valid. Like, I don't understand why she was even on Tinder. But then again, though, Houston is a big ass. Texas is a big ass state. People all over. You never know who you might actually find on there. We run into each other. Turns to find out she was already following the kid. But her Instagram was in the bio. I don't be putting my, my bio, you know. Or in, like, I don't got Tinder no more. But when I did, I never put my bio. I never put my Instagram in my bio. So yeah, I found her. We went to her Instagram to see if it was actually her. You know, people be on there doing some weird shit. It actually was her, and she was actually following me already. So no, off rip, I did not text off the Instagram. I feel like a lot of people be getting mad. Like now, when girls like find my Instagram and they be like, and then they start like fucking with you even more. It is true, girls do care about shit like that, but I don't be using that to my advantage to show females like, oh yeah, this is me right here type shit. You're like, you know what I'm saying? Cause then in their eyes, they're like, oh, this nigga, okay, he must be doing something type shit. And I don't want them to have a wrong impression on me just because of like my following and my Instagram and my YouTube and shit like that. So I never really used that. So I texted her back on or well, I texted her on Tinder instead of on like, you know. I, DMs, because right there would have been raps. You know what I'm saying? It would have been raps. You would have seen the shit. You would have, okay, all right, cool. I'm, I'm tapping in. I'm locked in. All types of shit. She texts back instantly. Instantly. She's trying to lean. She's trying to chill. And I'm like, damn. We just matched 20 minutes ago. I texted you five minutes ago and you talk about linking and matching and i'm like you know what i'm new to the state what's the worst that could happen i forgot though i am in houston you feel what i'm saying big ass state anything happens ain't no types of feds not that i want them to come anyway because you know we don't mess with 12 over here for my birthday i went 11 to 13 but i was like you know what what's the worst that could happen I mean, yeah, you can get set up, backdoored, robbed, lose everything. But, you know what I'm saying? God was on my side, so I'm not tripping. So, you know what I mean? You feel me? She's sitting the drop. Late at night. But she was like, you got to come over at, you know, at nighttime because, you know, it's just better vibes. And I'm like, I didn't really ask her, like, do you live with yourself or anything like that? I just assumed that she did. Then again, though, when I was down there, I was, you know, we was doing big things and shit, so I wanted to see why, you know. But anyway, I hit her up. She's in the drop. I pull up. Now, I don't go straight into the house, and I, you know, you know, start to get into shit, whatever. I, I make her come to the car first, see what type of time she on. When I pulled up, it was a nice area, big ass houses. I'm like, okay, 
we chilling. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't no trenches and shit over here. You know what I'm saying? You don't see half burnt buildings and shit. And when you're in Houston and you're around half burnt buildings and get out of there. Get out of there. You know what I'm saying? Get it the get out of there. Oh God, get out of there. Um it's anywhere in Texas, get out of there. Um We get in the car, go get something to eat, chilling arcade and shit that she took me to good vibe she was actually cool as hell like she was cool as hell right during the time she's starting to do shit that's like okay she wants it she wants it you feel me like when she's like you know she was hugging up on me her hand was like down you know by my thigh a little bit type shit you know what i'm you know what i mean bro you know what i mean trying to find out she she bold she bold as hell we get back to the car She's like, I'm gonna be honest. You looking too good. I like the vibes. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to sit here and cap or nothing either. She said, um, you know, you're looking too good. I mess with the vibes. You don't seem like all the other like guys in Texas. Like you seem like you're not even from here. Which I wasn't. But you know, like I said, she was messing with the kid. Mmm. That bed is crazy, bro. And I was like, I was like, you're on that type timing, like, already? Like, we just, like, kind of met, like, shit. And then me thinking, I'm like, how many people do you do this shit with? Especially since I found you on Tinder, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I had to be a little careful, you know what I'm saying? You didn't try to catch nothing, no other extra shit. Niggas walking up, niggas walking past. Niggas walking, and they got canes. That's the crazy part. Hell no. Well, if you don't get your goddamn... Like, I'm gonna give it to the store. I keep getting off track. But basically, I'm like, you know what? As long as I'm, you know what I'm saying? Protection and shit like that. Nothing too crazy. If it starts to, you know what I mean? I'm out of there ASAP. So, all right. Cool vibe. She was cool. Nice housing area. She got drip. She could dress. I didn't mention that. I forgot that. She came out with some ones on. She was looking clean. She was looking good. I ain't gonna lie. Because the type of girl I would, like, mess with. I'm like, you know what? All right, bet. I'm like, all right, so let's go back to your crib. Because when I pulled up, ain't no cars were there. So I'm thought that she lived there by herself type shit. So she's like, all right, let's go back to my crib. We go back to her crib. 10 o'clock at night. I walk in. Big. I mean, it's a big ass house. I mean, I see three little ass, two, actually like two little ass like poodle dogs, like perfectly groomed trained they were just sitting right there they barked once they came up to me sniffed me and then went the other way trained it was crazy as hell i'm like okay she might not be on no different type of time and she locks the door behind her maybe she thought that i was trying to do some shit to her so i'm like okay i see i see the time you on type shit and then um wow look at this right here and i can't even there's a couple right here his, his wife or girlfriend, like she's blind, so she has the stick right now. And her boyfriend is walking side by side outside in the cold right now. And they love each other. And I can't even, I can't even be in a relationship for a week. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Or oh, without an argument. I'm going through an argument right now with somebody. But anyway, um, she thought, she thought I was going to set her up and shit like that. She thought maybe she locked the door and shit. We get upstairs. I mean, her room, everything neat, smell good, everything. I'm like, hold on. Your room is upstairs. But she had the master bedroom. She had the master bedroom and all that. The the bathroom attached and everything. So I'm like, wait, what the? F I'm like, so you live here by yourself? I didn't ask her that, but I'm like, she must live here by herself because it sounds pretty empty in this bitch. Like, and I didn't check the, the, you know, the garage. Maybe her, you know, shit's in the garage or whatever. Right? So we get into the room. You know what I'm saying? It's vibes. She puts some music on. Type music I listen to. Slow and reverb type shit. Thanks for this chicken, but I ain't gonna cap. Shit, fire. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Cool vibes and shit. She starts to, like, try to, like, wrestle. Like, not, like, wrestle like that. Like, play fighting and shit. 
And I'm like, okay, that's, that's how you're trying to initiate and start things. Like, you're funny. Like, <laughs> like all right. And so um, we got to the room. You know what I'm saying? She pushed me down on the bed and shit, like playing around, obviously. Nothing too crazy. I like not no aggressive shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with that. And then um, next thing you know, like I got my shirt off. You know what I'm saying? I got my pants on and shit, still like that. You know what I'm saying? She just kissed me on my neck, you know, and kissed me on my neck and shit like that. And then this thing started, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Things started, you know, kind of happening. From there, I ain't gonna get too much in detail. Next thing you know, I hear the dogs bark, but I'm thinking like they just bark, you know, and they hear something and shit. I hear no doors open. I heard nothing, nothing. You know, the music's on right now. The emotion, chit your emotion right now. You feel what I'm saying? Next thing you know. It sounds like a like walking upstairs, but it sounds like the dogs, like two of them, like running up the stairs because they were, they were chasing, following like the actual owners. The music's so goddamn loud. I mean, low key. I could have got back doored and set up, and I wouldn't even know they would have came in the house because the music was so loud. Next thing you know. Boom! Charlotte! I turn around. I mean, this is, I mean, mid motion, everything. Under the blanket still type shit. I was like, what the? Now, what first thing that went in my head, I'm like, damn. What if she had a boyfriend the whole time type shit? I didn't even think about that. Charlotte! Dun, 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 Jenkins. I was like, whoa. I was like, the whole government? First, last, middle? Damn, you might as well said the social. It was her father. It's her pops. Her pops. This is the crazy part. The reason why I didn't turn out crazier than it should have been, this is how I knew she does this a lot. Are you doing this again? I caught you three times. I'm like, I'm like wait, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Three times is crazy. Caught by your pops? I've never ever been caught by my parents doing nothing. Ever, ever, bruh. Ever, bruh. I, you know what I'm saying? So, to be caught three times? Three times. Ain't no way. It just was not, just, just no way, bro. It was just no way. And, it, it, like, the his, her dad was just so cool. He was like, I know you're grown. You, know, you do your own thing, but you can't keep doing this in my house. And you better be you better be safe with these boys out here. You know what I'm saying? Better be safe with these boys out here. Slams the door. And she's like, yeah, it's cool. It's fine. My dad, um, you know, normally comes in here. And I'm like, wait, what? So I'm like, nah. I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That has ruined the whole vibe. I'm about to have to slide because... Or I'm about to like just see you some other time, which I knew I wasn't. After I heard what he just said, thought about the third time getting caught is crazy. Actually. Um she's like, Are you serious? You're really gonna leave after a good day like that? I was like, Yeah, it was cool, cool vibes and shit like that. But honestly, I don't see anything going past this point anyway, because I don't want my girl to be able to get hit on the first night just because some good vibes. And then on top of that, your pop's talking about this is the third time you've been caught? Like, she don't even care. She probably knew he was coming home. She probably just don't care no more. And that was the end of that, bro. I was like, I was like, so yeah, I was like, you know, I was like, I'll probably hit you up tomorrow or something like that. And after that, that was it. That's raps, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm pretty cool, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, but I don't really be eating like that. Like, eating a lot. I used to, I'm not gonna lie. But, like, especially, like, when it's food that I just know I shouldn't be, not say be eating. I go say I shouldn't be eating this because if I shouldn't be eating it, I wouldn't have bought it. But lately, I've been actually cooking all my meals at the, at the house. Like, I be cooking, like, actual real good burgers and bacon and shit on that. Like, my own shit. I know that, you know, where it came from and shit. All this other shit, bro. It just don't make no sense. Like, if y'all ever had, like, a, uh, like, if you guys, like, you know, have, like, a McDonald's burger, then you go get, like, like a water burger, what a you know what I'm saying? Go get one of those. You're like, damn, 
the hell is what the hell is make what is a McDonald's and what is in this shit? But Kane's all you know, it's fresh chicken, fresh fries and shit. So that's why I be eating it. But hey, that is the end of this video, end of this story time. And like I said, it was crazy. Like he just came in, yelled at her, closed the door. The thing is, I don't think like her mom was around, so that's why I feel like she is able to kind of like do stuff like that. But I feel like the dad would be more protective, and maybe he just don't care. Like I said, there was a nice ass house, big ass house. I'm like when he opened the door, like door is back there, TV's this way, the bed's this way. You feel what I'm saying? So then, therefore, like I'm not able to kind of look like went under the blankets and shit. I didn't even want to like kind of peek out to see who the hell you know. What I'm saying when I heard it was her dad. I'm not, I'm not pulling my head out. I'm not pulling my head out of these blankets, out of these, out of these uh, sheets. You feel me? Now I pull my head out, but I ain't gonna be like, type shit, you know what I mean? Because I already hear him yelling, so I might know who it is. If I would have heard him start walking and shit like that, then I would have, but he was he was honestly chilling. He was walk, he just walked in on his daughter getting piped. I mean, some parents are like that. Once you hit an age where you're grown, you can do whatever you want. You're grown, you know what I mean? So some people are just like that. I'm not going to really, you know, judge him and judge what they got going on because she still was clean, neat, had everything she, you know what I'm saying? So that's the end of that, bro. Make sure y'all boys like, comment, subscribe, join the RJ squad can say it with me. I'll wait. We be cooking. And I'm going to catch y'all boys tomorrow.